In this section, I will guide you through the agent's application and show you how the chat looks like from the inside, what type of customer's information you can see from your app, and how to use archives and the tickets. Let's start with the live chat application. To answer your chats, you'll have to use one of our applications. You can use the one that's available in your web browser, which requires you to just log into the browser application and authenticate yourself with your login and password. You can also use our desktop application and run it directly from your desktop. We also have the mobile apps that you can install on your iOS and Android devices. The chat section is the place where your agents will spend most of the time. There, you'll be able to see all the current chats assigned to the agents. By default, one agent can handle up to six chats at the same time, but you can customize this number. I will show you how to do that in the next video. In the first column, you'll see all chats that are assigned to you as an agent. As you can see, I currently have one active and one inactive chat. This active chat also has a notification here, so I know that the customer sent me some messages. Let's check it out. The customer filled out the pre-chat survey so I can see all of the pre-chat information here. Also, this is the first greeting message that the customer received from me. You can see the customer's first message and a sneak peek of the message that he's currently typing. Let's jump to the point of view of the customer. As you can see, the customer is still typing a question. From the agent's side, I can see the typed message in a real time, so I can start to prepare my answer and just simply wait for a customer to send me his message. As you can see, a customer can't see my message, so I can safely prepare my answer for him, saving mine and his time. To speed up this process even more, we created another function that we call count responses. This is the function that, thanks to shortcuts, allow you to quickly place long messages in the chat. All you have to trigger is type a hashtag, then you can see the list of all shortcuts available. As you can see, here in live chat we have a pretty extended list but you can simply navigate through it by typing a shortcut's name. I'll enter pricing, pick the count response, and quickly send a message I prepared before that saved me a lot of time. In the right side of the chat window, I can see the information about the visitor I'm chatting with. Here, we can see some general information, like the geolocation or the tickets that this customer has had with us, and many others. For the reporting purposes, you can also assign tags to the chat. Tagging chats will help you to segregate the chats among multiple different topics that you'll have. Let's say that you want to tag the chats about your billings and your support cases separately. You can use the tagging function easily and, for example, mark this chat as a support chat. Later, you'll be able to filter your repos based on the tagging filter, which I will show you in the next video. As I've mentioned, this information will be available for you anytime during the chat. And even when the chat is over, it's still visible for you to browse. In some free time, when not answering any of chats, you can visit the customer section, where you will see all of the customers that are currently browsing your website. This is the list of all the customers that are currently on our page. And you can see it thanks to implementing live chat code to the website. That's why we recommend to place it on all of the pages of your domain. You can pick the customers from this list by simply hitting start the chat or you can start it with some custom message. I can filter it to only see the currently ongoing chats and the agents that are answering those chats so I could supervise them. If I'm an admin or a supervisor of this agent, I can hit the supervise button and see this chat in a real time. Once the chat is over, it will be automatically placed in the archive section. Here you can see all the chats that took place on your license from the very first day of your chatting adventure. Those archives are available for you anytime you want, until your license stops working. You can search your archives by certain phrase, an email address or use filters to find a specific type of message. As you can see, it looks very similar to the chat, so you can see the content and the information about your customer in the right side of the screen. The last section that I want to talk about is the ticket section. As you remember, the tickets are the offline messages that your customer is sending when the chat is offline. When your chat is offline and your customer is leaving you an offline message, your agents will receive an email notification saying that there's a ticket waiting to be replied. Later on, it will appear as an open ticket visible for an agent. I can then click on this ticket and see the message that the customer left for me. I can also leave an internal comment for the ticket which only I can see, your customer will not be able to see this message. On the right side, 
I can see some information about the ticket. For example, a ticket assignee. I can assign the ticket to myself or choose another member of my team when I, for example, want to forward it to a tech person. I can type the reply to the ticket. And another great thing is that count responses also work for the tickets. So I can create a count response for my tickets and answer them much faster. And that concludes the section about chats, customers, archives and tickets. Stay tuned!